All of us United fans wanted to see a revolution at Manchester United this summer. We wanted to see so many players be sold, brand new players coming in, Eric Ten Hag, new era, great. But we expected evolution, bit by bit. A few signings, a couple of player sales. But I tell you what, it's not even the end of the season yet. We've still got to play Crystal Palace. And it really feels like more of a revolution is coming this summer rather than evolution. I'm going to run through the latest news about players leaving the club. Eric Ten Hag, he is getting to work straight away and wasting absolutely no time. It really is the best possible start we could have hoped for as United fans. I'm going to run through it in this video. Make sure you do please join the United People's TV community. Just launched a brand new community today over on Telegram. That's going to be great. The new home. Hit the notification bell as well. But let's get straight into it because I tell you what. Ten Hag is messing around. Not a jot. I completely messed that sentence up. But look, Eric Ten Hag is not messing. He's flown into the Mayfair offices this week. He's getting to work immediately. And he's going to be at the game against Crystal Palace. And as soon as that he's flown over, we're all like, okay, well, he's got such a long to-do list. What's he going to do about transfers? Probably going to have to wait to really hear some sort of stories. And then all of a sudden, we're hearing about 10 players... Who could leave the club this summer. And of course, Ralph Radnick spoke about how Manchester United could make 10 signings. And of course, we spoke about the fact that there probably are 10 players who could really lead this club and really our first team squad strength and depth wouldn't really be changed that much. But we all kind of felt it was wishful thinking deep down. Mate, maybe it's not been wishful thinking. Let me run through the story for you and why it's so important that we do this, all right? It really is, is a significant point to this video. Uh, Fabrizio Romano here saying that Manchester United are prepared to let both Eric Bai and Aaron Wan-Bissaka go. You see, this has just come in from uh, Samuel Luckhurst about Brandon Williams maybe not being given the guarantees that he wants at fullback. And I will be speaking about Phil Jones in this video, Anthony Martial, Dean Henderson, um, Andreas Pereira. There's others I've forgotten about as well. There's just there's too many. But this is the crucial reason I'm doing this video and the crucial reason, the thing that we have to understand. We talk about... How Manchester United need to improve our signings. Our recruitment has to be better. But recruitment works both ways. If we were to take a look at this list, right? This is the list of the most expensive player sales that United have ever done. And Daniel James is bloody sixth on the list. That was an outrageous piece of business that we managed to do there. Nearly 30 million and a profit we made on Dan James. But look, Mkhitaryan, that didn't really count. Uh, we got um, Sanchez back for the same price, right? David Beckham, Di Maria. Jeez, David Beckham. Let's go the whole way back to 2003, 2004. Wow. We do not sell players for a profit. We have been crap at selling players for a long, long time. And I hate to do this again, but we have to look at what Liverpool and City have done. Obviously, Coutinho being top of that list and blowing everything out of the water is a big reason why they've been able to invest heavily. But it has been a reason why they've been able to invest heavily and smartly. And then you look at Luis Suarez... They've made some decent money off players being sold. And look, they managed to rob Crystal Palace of like over 50 million for Sacco and Menteke. My word. 20 million for Danny Ings. Look at the, the, the most bang average players. And they need 20 million for Jordan Ibe. We've got to be better at selling players. And we look at City and look at this, man. It's because they buy players who aren't just at the end of their careers, who are going for that big bumper contract, what we've done for a long, long time in the, in the past few years. But look, Leroy Sane going 50, and that was in 2000, last, was it was in January, I think, the Ferran Torres went to Barcelona. Danilo, 19, you can see how much they're recouping. They're operating as smart businesses, and United have just not done that enough. The fact that Dan James is the sixth most expensive player sale we've ever done goes to show that. But this summer, United have got a real chance to actually bring some genuine money into the club and help Eric Ten Hag. Phil Jones, he should definitely be leaving. And I think we could expect anywhere in the region of five to 10 million pounds for him. I think Phil Jones deserves a new opportunity. He deserves a new chance. And I wish him the very best. But five to 10 million for Phil Jones, I don't think that's out outrageous to ask for. Then we go across here and we see Eric Bai. Now I don't know how much you think Eric Bai is worth. What did we pay? About 30, 35 million to Villarreal, I think we did. I think in the region of 10 to 20 for Eric Bai would be a fair market price for a player who clearly, even if look, we all know that Eric Bai can be good at Manchester United, has been good at Manchester United, but his injuries, he's been sidelined. He's an unhappy player now. We need to shift him on and move on from it. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, a player that we've spent £50 million on from Crystal Palace. I hold my hands up here and say, look, I genuinely expected him to, most, to be the most improved player this year. I got that spectacularly wrong. 
for Aaron Wan-Bissaka, we can get 20 to 30 million pounds for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. And if we're going back to this list here, right, and we're seeing our most expensive sales ever, I would absolutely expect Aaron Wan-Bissaka to go in there. Yeah, around, he might be the sixth most expensive player ever that we sold. I don't think we'll sell him this summer. I think more likely to loan into Crystal Palace with an intention to buy, but we should be able to recoup a good amount of money from that. Dean Henderson. We're hearing figures of 30 to 40 million for Dean Henderson. Snap the hands off Newcastle for that. And then we're hearing counter arguments from Luke Edwards from the Telegraph that maybe he won't be sold. But Dean Henderson is an unhappy player at the club in the same way that Eric Bai is an unhappy player at the club. And then both of them, you could sell both of them and it doesn't take away from our first team strength. It takes away from the squad a little bit. We'd probably need a better second choice goalkeeper, although maybe Tom Heaton could do that. But Dean Henderson, good money we could get for him. Anthony Martial, we could get good money for him and we should get good money for him. I would say in the region, again, of 20 to 30 million pounds. It might not be that he's going to be successful at Manchester United from this point in his career. But Anthony Martial still got plenty left in him. And I think he'll, do, he'll be successful elsewhere. Andreas Pereira. We can get, I think, in the region of 5 to 10 million. I think we rejected like 10 million from Flamengo, which was insane. We should take that money straight away. But you can see what I mean there. If we're to going to top that up, say 7 million for Phil Jones, 15 million. For uh, Eric Bayer, that's 22, 23, 22? 22 million. There you go. Just about figured that out. 25, I think, would be a fair. 20, 25 for him. That's over 50 million. Take that up to 60, 70, 80 million. That's part of 100 million we could get from all of those players. And imagine what that could do to, 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 the, to the budget of the club, to the strength of the quality of the club, to the players that Eric Ten Hag has at his disposal. It doesn't take away from it. We've got to start being better at selling players as much as we've got to be better at buying players. You remember this video that I did? Look at that lovely part of me there. And we looked at the players that everybody wanted to be to be gone from the club. I haven't even spoken about Harry Maguire there. Obviously, Matic, Pogba are leaving. Jones, I've spoken about him. Matters leaving for free. Pereira, the Glazers, Martial, Cavani, Lingard. Down there, you've got Wan Bissak. Majority of the names that we've discussed, the overwhelming majority. And if I was to run through what my list was, I said that we should be selling to Anzebe. I think it's unfortunate for him that his best opportunities were curtailed by injury. I don't think he's going to establish himself. But look, Martial, Lingard, Pogba, Lee Grant, uh, Harry Maguire, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Phil Jones, Wan Mata, Edison Cavani and Pereira. And when I did that list, I'll be completely honest. I was looking at it going, Sam, man, you are dreaming if you think you're going to get the majority of those done in one summer. But now we're sitting here on the 20th of May before the transfer windows even opened. And I think we're having genuine conversations here. Oh, I know about six. Matic, Mata, Cavani, Hopper, Pereira and Lee Grant. As six players leaving on free transfers, they're gone. Their contracts have expired. And Phil Jones, Andrew, oh no, I said Pereira there. Phil Jones, Martial, who else down there? Aaron Wan-Bissaka, yep. Well, apparently Brandon Williams as well. There are... I don't think it's outrageous to say and suggest that this could really happen this summer now. Eric Ten Hag really clearly has come into the job. He's been given his dossier. He's he's been he's been watching Manchester United play. He's been drinking Fiji water. Oh, very nice. And that's all going well for Eric Ten Hag. Um but I genuinely think that revolution could happen this summer. I I I wanted to sort of not sit on the fence, but kind of not get too excited by things like this. Because although on paper in Football Manager, if you're playing FIFA, it's like it's dead easy to do that. Boom, 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 sold, sold, sold. But we've watched United over the years. And this is the ultimate pessimistic United fan that, uh, that is embedded in me now because of how we've acted in the transfer market. I just don't expect United to do what is clever. I don't expect United to do what is smart. But what is clever and what is smart is getting rid of these 10 players, is letting Bay and Wan-Bissaka go if they're not part of the future is letting Brandon Williams go if we can't give him the game time that he needs. It is selling Phil Jones, Eric Bai, wan -Bissaka, Dean Henderson, Anthony Martial, Andreas Pereira, and really building a new squad for Eric Ten Hag. Mate, it's, this, is, this is real, real, real reason to get excited. This is, the, as I say, the revolution under Eric Ten Hag rather than the evolution. I thought it would take a lot longer for the squad to be sort of shaped but maybe there's more that we could do in one summer than we ever thought possible, first of all. The fact that Eric Ten Hag has started work early, we're hearing all these conversations before the end of May, 
right? It's not what happens at United. We normally sit there for the first three weeks of a transfer window going, you know, if the club actually you know did something, but City have already got Haaland in. They've gone, they've, they've, well, obviously not in, but you know what I mean? They're going to have him. That deal's already done. United need to act swiftly, decisively, because we have so many different transfers. Realistically, if you're looking at that, six players, five, five to six player sales, five players leaving on a free, it's different, not involved in those. And also four potential new signings. It's a lot to negotiate, a lot to get through, and a lot to build for this man. But I'm happy about the news that 10 could be leaving. I think 10 should be leaving, really. Six are leaving on a free. And it's not outrageous to think that Wan-Bissaka could go on loan, Bayer could be sold, Dean Henderson could be sold or loaned, depending on what the club wanted to do. Phil Jones finding a new club, Andreas Pereira finding a new club, and Anthony Martial finding a new club. This could be the start of what we need and the real, real boost the beginnings of the Ten Hag era. I'm excited for it. I'm sure you are. That's why I did this short video. Not everybody can join in the live video, so I like to present the news in a nice compact video for you as well. So make sure you subscribe if you're new. Man, I'll tell you what, revolution might be coming instead of evolution. Seriously.